very juicy. Very juicy. Is it a wing? I don't like bones. Oh, shut up. So, today we'll be trying Kentucky Fried Chicken. Yeehaw. I know people say that when I put the bags on the fabric couch, it gives them anxiety. But otherwise, how are we going to get the ambiance? So, KFC Kentucky Fried Chicken is a huge international chain around the world. Why haven't you tried it, Diane? Well, because usually KFC is next to McDonald's and I fear trying new things. And I know that seems like a contradiction because that's all I do on this channel, but also in real life, I'm just very boring. I like the same thing all the time and I, I like chicken nuggies. Mm, chicken nuggets. So I just never tried KFC. It was just never a thing I tried. I mean, I like the sound of it. Chicken is my favorite meat. Fried, everything's better fried. Kentucky seems like good people. Okay, so first things first, I did go to European KFC. Obviously there might be some differences between that and American KFC, but I did get my tips off my patrons in America and Canada, and that's what I tried to buy today. Today's meal was brought to you by patreon.com slash Diane Jennings and or channel membership Diane Jennings. Thanks patrons for buying my dinner. There was not that much variety in choice of drinks. Obviously, if you're eating in the restaurant, you can get the different sodas and stuff. I just got a Pepsi Max. Just for the taste of it, not Diet Coke. We are- It was at this moment that she knew she fucked up. That's not a real table. Don't forget that's not a real table. Uh, yes, Chewy is back in his favorite spot behind the food. So I tried to get as many things on the menu as I possibly could. First up, I did get a kid's meal because when you get a kid's meal, you can just get lots of extra things. So I got this little Looney Tunes jigsaw puzzle with my kid's meal. I got a chicken wrap. Let's try this chicken wrap. I got these french fries because you can't try a fast food place and not try their fries. I think the fries say a lot about a place. And I got this KFC smoky barbecue sauce. And smoky barbecue is my favorite. It was the default sauce, so I'm pretty happy with it. I got this corn on the cob. Also, I gotta say this menu, KFC, was very cheap compared to all the other fast foods I've tried on this thing. I think everything I got today added up to 20 euro. And when you see how much stuff I got, you're gonna realize that's a very good price. Next up, I got this and I'm not super looking forward to it, but I felt like I should get it because the patron suggested. They suggested biscuits and gravy. Biscuits were not on the menu in European KFC, but we did get mash and gravy and there doesn't seem to be any cutlery, so I may have to default to my own or just use my fingers, which would be gross. Then I got this cheeseburger and I actually don't know if it's got chicken or, yeah, it does, it has chicken inside. And of course I could not go to KFC and not get a bucket. A bucket, a bucket of food. That didn't originate in America, nothing did. America, freedom. I, and it's not a huge bucket, obviously it's just me eating. But also the options on the menu for chicken was you could get everything Kentucky style or original. Now I'm going to guess, let me know in the comments if there are a lot more flavors in KFC in the United States, but this is what we had on offer here. And I just went for a mixed bucket of chicken. So we'll be trying that. Okay, I'm gonna try the bucket of chicken first because I mean, it's a bucket of chicken and this is KFC. So, you know, I guess this is a chicken tender or something, I'm guessing. Mmm, not very juicy. Mmm, mmm, ooh, ooh, very juicy, very juicy. Doesn't taste like just thrown together. Tastes juicy. I should come up with another descriptive word than juicy. The video is gonna get real boring real fast. It is delicious. I don't know how that's been marinated, but it has. I don't know the difference between that which I've just tried and this, but they do look like different colors. This must be original or this is original. I guess this is original. Let's see the difference. Oh, that is lush. More plain than the other one. I don't know what the flavor of Kentucky is. Kentucky, what do you taste like? I don't know what it tastes like. It's like, not barbecue-y and not spicy, but mm, I don't know, what is it? Mmm, very yummy, very yummy. Let's try a French fry. You can judge a place by its French fries. Trust me when I say this. Mmm, real potato. There is no salt on this. 
I mean, there's probably a salt in it, but there's nothing on it like you would get in McDonald's. It's not a place I would go to for its fries. Let's just put it that way. Let's try this big fella. What are you, big fella? Is it a wing? I don't like bones. Is it a wing? <gasps> I don't like touching meat with my hands, but here we are doing it. No, it does. It does feel like there's bones. Oh, shut up. Shut up. I didn't say anything. Oh, no, Dan, you're gonna like KFC now. Now you're gonna get really morbidly obese. Oh, I like, I like KFC. Oh, look at that. Oh, it's kind of gross, but kind of delicious. That is real chicken. That is not like chicken nuggies chicken. I know there's like a difference between American and European chicken nuggies but that is quality, that is the good ass chicken. Not the ass of the chicken, that would be fairly gross. Actually it might be because it's fast food. Let's not think about it too much, it tastes very nice. It is finger licking chicken because it's very greasy. And people give out to me whether I give the dog food or not. Like some people are like, no, you shouldn't give your dog that. And then other people are like, why don't you give the dog some? So I will, I will give the dog a little taste. It's only chicken, I'm not giving him the, the bad bit. He's got to live his life, you know? What do you think, Chu? Is it yummy? Is it finger licking chicken? He thinks it's finger licking chicken. That is very delicious. Shut the door, stop the lights. Irish people, we like our chicken. We like our pollo. We usually like our chicken kind of plain, not so spicy. Some people like a spicy chicken fillet roll, to be fair. If you have never had a spicy chicken fillet roll from Centra, you haven't lived. That's a story for another day. Ooh, I think I like KFC. Let's try the other things. Let's give French fries another chance. They're just okay. It's okay, you know. They're not, they're, they're not blowing my mind. Is this a different type again? Is this a chicken wing? Mmm. How can there be so many different types of chicken that look the same? They do taste distinctly different, but I can't put my finger on it. One tastes more honey-ish, and one tastes more savory, if that makes sense. It's real chicken though. I know I sound surprised, but sometimes in fast food, you do get like chicken-like product. Has anybody had a Lunchable recently? Have you seen the scandal about Lunchables? They're talking about how everything in it is just a cheese-like substance or a meat-like substance, and they're not actually cheese and meat. Well, that's what I mean by this. Like this is real chicken. Like there is a chicken, who gave his life for me. Let's not think about it too much, but actually several chickens gave their life for me today. Let's try some corn. Corn is good. Yum, yum, yum. There's no lady like way to eat corn. I don't usually order corn because it is such a tricky food to eat in front of people, but I am enjoying it. I mean, corn is corn. I really don't think we can credit KFC with revolutionizing the corn. It's just corn. It's a good corn, but it's, it's corn on the cob, you know? Okay, we gotta try our mash. We gotta try our gravies and mash. Supplied my own fork because I don't know what I was supposed to do with this without a fork. Actually, Americans, would you have suggested a spoon? I would go with a fork. But that's what we eat potato with in, in Ireland anyway. You eat it with a fork. Oh no. Oh, that's gooey. Okay, let's mix it a bit better. I like gravy at Christmas. I like all the different like cranberry gravy. And then like you can take your pick and put the different ones on the turkey. Maybe this needed mashing. I'm gonna give it a I'm gonna give it a second chance. I did just get like a gloop of gravy there. What's that blob? What's that blob? What is it? Uh it's not like uh, uh, why is it why is it not mushed? I realize I'm a child sometimes about food, but it's just how I am. Like I would enjoy this with a carvery dinner potentially, but I just it's not fast food to me. Here's some insight into how she's trying to be agreeable. She hates carvery food. Hates it with a passion. You know, mashed potato, it's just not, mm, just doesn't go. Maybe you're meant to stick the chicken in the mash and gravy. Is that a thing? Is that what you're meant to do? Like that looks like real food. Let's be honest. Like this is not your McDonald's. This is real food. Mm -mm -mm. Like it's very nice. It's just not what I expected from fast food. Do you know what I can see this being? I can absolutely see this being that you are not at home with your mama and you miss your mama's cooking and you want just like something homey, like a homey hearty meal. That's KFC. I went into this thinking fast food, but you're actually getting convenient 
homey, hearty food that you don't have to make yourself. It's also very bad manners for me to be waving my chicken around, but here we are. Let us try the chicken burger. It is a very small chicken cheeseburger, but you know, let's not judge it by the size. What? There were bigger ones. I did just get like a couple of things as sides. So I'm assuming if you ordered a chicken cheeseburger in itself, it would be larger. I just didn't order like a whole one, but like, you know, it's got chicken cheese, burger, some kind of sauce. I'm gonna guess barbecue, we'll see. That chicken's very chewy. It does not look as fresh as the other chicken. I feel like that chicken's been sitting there a while. Mmm, no, no, it's a no for me. I don't, I don't think that's a fresh burger though, to be fair. The bun is nice, the cheese is nice, the sauce is nice, but the chicken compared to that chicken in the bucket is not, it's not it, it's not it. How disappointing. Okay, and then the other thing that we got for the main meals is this chicken and cheese wrap. It looks like a different type of chicken than is in the chicken burger. So, like this looks like this chicken, whereas the burger one looks like this chicken. Okay, let's give her a go. That's very nice. Yeah, that chicken, I can see myself getting that for lunch. Like if I was going fast food for lunch, I could get a chicken wrap and that would be convenient and I would be like, yum, yum, yummy, yummy. Easy, convenient. Not the hearty vibe of the chicken chicken. I'm still a tiny bit floored by my bucket of chicken because of the fact that I just didn't expect it to be like real food, you know what I mean? For dessert. We got, I don't see how far wrong I can go with this. Honestly, I really don't see how far wrong we could go. I got a chocolate waffle. Now, the only waffles I've ever had have been in London and Waffle House. So, I don't know, it kind of just looks like a generic, like it's definitely not a homemade waffle. I also got ice cream chocolate sundae, which, you know, is very small. It is very small. I mean, I'm not a hungry girl, but that's very small. Again, no cutlery. I thought I'd go in with the spoon, but now I'm thinking the spoon is just an obstacle to the food getting in my belly. I didn't say it right. We shouldn't put it on a t-shirt. The fork is an obstacle to the food getting in my belly. Mmm, I took it all back. That is a freaking delicious frozen waffle. Mmm, where's the chocolate? What chocolate do KFC use? Because that is good chocolate, like delicious chocolate. That's not generic chocolate, that's real ass. Stop saying real ass. Real ass doesn't make anything sound delicious. Well, to certain people it might. What? <laughs> that is real chocolate. Like that is proper, real chocolate. Oh, wow. Now I remember why I have the spoon. I'm blown away by the chocolate. What is the chocolate? It's delish. Hmm, freaking good job, KFC. Good job. I like your chocolate, bunches and heaps. Well, KFC for me was freaking delicious. I really enjoyed every aspect of it. Well, no, I'm lying. I'm gonna recap again. <laughs> well, KFC was for me very surprising. It definitely tastes like home cooked hearty chicken. Hearty, 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 hearty. Does that make sense to other people? What, what I mean is it doesn't taste like Burger King burger or, you know, the wrap did. The wrap tastes exactly like food on the go, I would expect, but the chicken and the potato tasted like home cooked food. If I was in university and I was like, oh, I'm in my mom, I might be like, oh, oh, I should get some KFC. But I did live like at home with my mom and my university was like 15 minutes from where I lived. So that didn't happen for me. But other people <laughs> who live in different states, I can see why you would feel that way. I want some chicken. Very good. I'm going to give KFC, do you know what? I'm so happily surprised by KFC. I'm going to give it a 9 out of 10. And you know what the fun of these videos is? I get to finish the food off camera. If you do like to see me try stuff and watch things and react to stuff and tell you things, do subscribe to this channel. It's easy and free. It's free to do just for now. Also put down what your favorite French fries are below in the comments, not only because I enjoy you commenting and boosting the algorithm, but also because I'm curious what your favorite French fries are.